Gloucester City, we've got a huge ambition for regenerating the city. At the same time, we've got some wards which are more deprived. So we're looking for contestants to give us an example of how we can bring back into use a very historic building for community benefit. And secondly, to help us to develop a strategy of how we can systematically and systemically combine social and economic regeneration for the benefit of the residents in the city. My name is Mark Albiston, I'm team leader today for Team Inspire. We've got activities right throughout the day, limited team time. I'm Catherine Anderson and I'm heading up Team Dynamic today. Looks like it's going to be a really exciting challenge and got a great team in there, so just looking forward to getting stuck in. We went off to the cathedral and we were split into two groups and one team was able to go up to the uh, roof and the other team went on the scaffolding tour. They've set up a, a very large array of, of solar panels making kind of use of a heritage asset in a very modern way. I was part of the team that went up to the cathedral scaffolding to look at the area. We also had an opportunity to go to the yard and do some chipping. After the cathedral, team A came with me to go and visit Chukaboos which is a boutique cafe specifically designed for those of retirement age. The team I was with went off to The Hub, which is run by the Nelsons Trust, which deal with drug and alcohol related issues. Then we took the contestants to the Fleece Complex. Our clerk of works, Iona Lennon, took them round and she exposed to them the unique challenges with this site of great historical significance. The heart of this challenge is around um, both physical regeneration but also social regeneration and how the, um, the assets that the council have will benefit all parts of the community, especially the deprived community. But it doesn't stop there, they've still got a lot to do, um, we've got dinner and then they're off for a trip around Blackfriars Priory. This is um, an example of a medieval priory that the City Council took on uh, the management of in 2012 with obligations around education, um, commercial activities and generally bringing the site to life. It was a light night for everybody last night so we're about to get a throng of people in here at 9 o'clock with speed networking as the teams test their ideas with stakeholders council members, council officers and the voluntary sector in particular. We're now on the fourth challenge of a series of five. So what I'm doing with the contestants is running through with them what their proposals would be for the Bruce Lockhart Scholarship were they to get through to the final. Our proposal was about redeveloping the fleece, so we want to use the Grade 1 listed part to be a bit of a museum, but really as a multi-use flexible space that the community can use as they see fit. We want to use the bottom bit as a bit of a cafe bar, which will lead out onto the street so that people can see the place as they pass. And also in the courtyard, we want to use that space to sort of build up to the arts and culture offer that we want to provide around there. What we saw the fleece doing is we focused our efforts on the cellar space and one of the kind of the hooks that we put in though is how do you use digital innovation to kind of engage people in a more creative use of quite an historic and atmospheric space. We believe that we've delivered both a business case and a presentation that helps them understand how inspiring people makes inspiring places. You've got to trust the people who've got the great ideas. There was certainly passion coming across from both teams. The judges were split. Once you both finished we had a vote amongst the audience here to, to see what they thought. So on that basis the winner is Team Inspire. The two groups took very different approaches particularly to the, the presentation. Uh, one group focused particularly on the uh, the proposals for the fleece site, uh, whereas the other group uh, focused more on, on how you would take the proposals that were contained in their business plan and roll them out to the wider uh, regeneration strategy. So two very different approaches to it, but we think just on balance, uh, Team Inspire managed to win, and that, that was the, the view of the audience as well.